Joining us now on the line from America is the U.S. celebrity journalist Jeannie Wolf. Uh, Jeannie, thanks very much for talking to us. Terrible, sad I news about this actor. Just the thought of this. It, it, it's unbelievable, really. Um, Lucy Cotter, our arts and entertainment correspondent, mentioned that there was a history of uh, drinking, but uh, is there any suggestion that he was at all depressed? He suffered from uh, de bouts of depression uh, 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 in the circles that he operated in. Just a few weeks ago, he checked himself into rehab. Um, it said he'd done back-to-back -back projects and that he was, in a sense, going for kind of a, a tune-up. Uh, but obviously he was extremely depressed. He's had a long history, not just with alcohol, but with substances. He used cocaine. And in 1982, he tried to kind of do a, a cold turkey, quitting when John Belushi died. Because, uh, you, you know, that was supposed, that was a, a, a shocking lesson for him, that a friend of his died. I, don't forget, he was a young comedian when he was, when he was using drugs. And those people think that they'll live forever. Uh, I know that we throw the word around greatly talented and genius a lot. But I, I couldn't even count how many times I'd met and been with and interviewed Robin Williams. And he is a true genius. No two ways about it. You just say a word to him and he can entertain. He's, he's so beloved. And obviously the person that couldn't love him is himself. Uh, and Jeannie, you, you mentioned there that he uh, was a genius and he was an extremely versatile actor, wasn't he? I mean, he did uh, roles like uh, the genie in uh, Aladdin, but at the same time, he won an Oscar for his role uh, in Good Will Hunting, which was a very serious part that he played. He uh, had a, a special touch, didn't he? Well, he was, it was always very important to him that he not only be known as a manic comedian and a, a crazy comedian, and one, he got respect in Good Morning Vietnam and Good Will Hunting. That was very meaningful to him. But, you know, there are a lot of people who say comedy is harder. But if Robin Williams' face told a story, no matter what he did. He was the most open soul. You walked in a room with him, and you felt, you felt embraced, and you felt entertained, and you felt loved. Uh, he, he was a fascinating guy. I don't know anybody who could think as fast as he could and be entertaining. He just had a TV series that was okay. It did very well, but it was canceled. And I'm sure that that was a disappointment to him. I, was, I went on the set as near the end of the season, and he was very sweet and very glad that he was working with a lot of young people. They called the series The Crazy Ones, and he said, I never wanted it to be the Robin Williams show. I wanted to be part of an ensemble. But nevertheless, the series was not a huge hit. Um, Robin won't be judged by one show or one movie. Uh, he has a body of work and uh, a, a life uh, of sharing and giving that are, unlike, um, that are unmatched, really. Uh, and Jeannie, we just had a tweet from the actor Henry Winkler who says Robin William was like no other to watch him create. Uh, on the spot was a privilege to behold. Robin, you are an angel now. Rest in just one of the hundreds, if not thousands of tributes are going to be pouring in over the next 24, 48 hours, Jeannie. Well, they will be, especially since it hasn't been confirmed, but it's widely thought that it was that it was some sort of suicide. Look, depression, substance abuse, it can hit, a, it can hit anybody, but Robin Williams had a lo almost a, a lifelong uh, f struggle with that. And I think there were times when Robin thought that if he gave up cocaine or if he gave up drugs or gave up alcohol, that he wouldn't be as funny. But it wasn't true. When he was perfectly sober, he was funnier and wilder and quicker on his feet and more sensitive than almost any actor you could, you could mention. Anybody who worked with him, uh, like Henry Winkler, but you, as you say, you will hear hundreds of tributes because this is a man who just, I, you can't find anybody that will say he has a mean bone in his body or that he wasn't one of the most talented human beings on earth. You won't find anybody who doesn't confirm that. You will find people who've seen him uh, in a condition where he was 
uh, clearly on drugs, and you will you will find people who realize how tough life was on him. He made life easier for other people, but it was very tough on himself. And and. and Jeannie, one final point. I mean, this is going to send shockwaves through the world of Hollywood, isn't it? You could practically... I, I, I just found out, and, and I, I could not control myself screaming. And, and, I mean, I do... I have known him for a long time. I have interviewed him many times. I have a long, long relationship with him. But anybody who interviewed him once or twice or worked on a movie with him once or twice will feel that connection. He was an open soul he was, it's hard almost to find the words because you know how you come up with superlatives when someone dies and especially dies suddenly. But Robin Williams deserved the superlatives. He, he was an extraordinary entertainer and an extraordinary human being who had, you know, lots of weaknesses that he regularly admitted to. Jeannie, thank you very much for your time. That is uh, Jeannie Wolf on the line. While well, joining us uh, on the phone now is Jamie Graham, editor at large with Total Film magazine. Uh, shocking news now. Can I just get your reaction to this news that uh, the actor Robin Williams has died? Well, my reaction is the same as everyone else at the moment. It's just one of complete, utter shock. Um, if you're on Twitter at the moment, I mean, everyone's, everyone's feeds is just full full of people pouring an outpouring of grief and shock and also you know everyone just saying what a wonderful person he was how much joy he brought to so many people and just how sadly he's going to be missed and what type of legacy do you think he'll have uh, left behind now well i think he'll always be remembered as one of the great comic actors i mean he was an absolute comic genius as we all know um was just incredible, fast-talking, motor-mouth, just inventive, incredible brain. Just, um, I mean, when he's cast as something like the genie in Aladdin, for example, he's just, it just pours out of him, just that improv. I mean, it's just an absolute God-given talent. But I think he'll also be remembered as a great uh, dramatic actor as well. I think that's the side of him that was maybe underrated while he was alive, um, he did obviously do several dramatic roles. He won his Oscar for Good Will Hunting, Best Supporting Actor, um, which was a terrific tr dramatic role. And again, one that just had so much truth and so much emotion to it that I think anyone watching that film, that, that performance came from a very real, very deep place. And uh, I guess, as, uh, you know, I spoke to uh, Jamie Wolf, Jeannie Wolf, uh, a little bit earlier on, and she was explaining how what shockwaves this news is going to send through uh, Hollywood. But it's not just Hollywood, is it? It's going to be right across the world, right across the UK, as uh, people uh, hear of the news that this actor has died. Well, exactly. I mean, he, he's one of those actors who touches everyone. I mean. He's such he's such a well known person. He's been he's been a star for many many years, a great actor for many years. He's one of those names that every single person in the world knows. You know, he, he's just a household name, and he's a part of everyone's life. For anyone growing up who's watched any movies or any TV shows at any point in their life, he's just a part of our culture, a massive part of our culture. And you know, his death is going to be. I mean, it's just. It's hard to put words to it, really. It's going to send shockwaves, like you said. And, you know, so many people will talk about the fact that he was uh, such a, a versatile actor. He did so many uh, various roles. He could do the, yeah. the humorous, uh, comedic roles. But uh, also, like you mentioned, films like Good Will Hunting, when he showed that he could be an extremely dramatic actor and a very moving actor as well. Well, very much. I mean, I think the thing with Robin Williams is anyone who knows him or anyone who's interviewed him is he was an incredibly frank person and he's always been a troubled person. Do do? When he was younger, he had troubles with addiction, struggles with addiction. Um, he's always suffered on and off with depression, which, as we all know, is a terrible disease, a terrible illness. And I think he's not someone who's ever hidden that away. He talks openly about it, honestly about it. I interviewed him once, and people always say when they interview Robin Williams that, you know, he hides behind the humour and it's hard to get a straight answer out of him because whatever you ask him, he gives a quick-witted, quick very sort of funny response. But what he does do when you talk to him is every now and then he would just suddenly go to a very truthful place and he'd talk incredibly openly. 
and he never hides those emotions and never hides those flaws, which I think anyone kind of connects with that, but it really does touch you in your heart. 